And um, another minor gripe on my part, why do you have to do almost everything in World of Warcraft by right-clicking on stuff? Because there were a couple of times that uh, I got killed in really bullshit ways. Like, I was fighting two enemies at once. Two bears, to be precise. Um, and I killed one, and I tried targeting the other one so that I could uh, start attacking it, you know. And I right-click on it, and my character starts looting the, the enemy that I just killed. Right-clicking is the way that you tell your person to attack stuff in it, or at least one of them. If there was another one, I didn't know about it. Sorry. But, I don't know, that just kind of pissed me off. Um, another thing is the keyboard interface in WoW is generally simpler uh, than most other MMORPGs. But, back to uh, the bullshit deaths. That reminds me of something else that's really different. And I have to start again by making a comparison to EverQuest. In EverQuest, when you die, and you're beyond, like, level 10, what happens is, you lose a chunk of experience. And you also have to go back and loot your body to get all the equipment and all your items back. Unless you have someone that can resurrect you. And, uh... They have to summon your body, too, to be able to do that, so... <clears throat> or at least be standing right next to it to be able to cast a spell. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm guessing for some reason. But, um... Thing is, World of Warcraft... There's really no penalty for dying. Or at least from my experience, there wasn't. Because... When you die in World of Warcraft, and this is something else I forgot to mention, is that your items have, your, uh, your equipment has durability to it. As you use them in battle, they'll gradually wear down. And that's not, that's not anything original. Diablo did the same thing, and if I remember correctly, a couple games before that did it too. So it's nothing new. But the penalty for dying in WoW is, okay, you're a spirit now, and if you want to resurrect with no penalty, you walk back to your body, or fly back to your body, depends on what race you are, and you resurrect. And if you don't, your items take a durability hit. And you and uh, when your items take durability hits, you have to get them repaired. Wait, but remember, this is World of Warcraft, where everything runs based on money. So taking an item durability hit it's basically the game going, whoop de fucking do <laughs> You lost like five points on each of your armor. Go get them fixed. It costs you like, I don't know, 25 copper, depending on the kind of equipment that you have. At least from my experience. It probably gets more exper expensive as you go up, but you also earn more money as you go up. So you're really not exp experiencing much of a penalty at all. Your penalty is you have to go out and kill a couple bears and loot their bodies and then sell all the stuff that you get from them. Which reminds me... And I don't know how to adequately phrase this. Why does armor and weapons drop at such a ridiculous rate in World of Warcraft? Part of the reason that I rarely, you rarely ever have to worry about money in World of Warcraft is the enemies will regularly drop pieces of armor and weapons that you can use. And some that you can't, but in that case you just sell them and get a fair chunk of money for them. And I don't mean like they'll drop common armor, like, you know, leather wristbands. Or, aw, oh, dude, a fourth strength, four stam leather belt? Ah! Level R2? Oh, oh. No, I don't mean that. Um, although they do drop that quite often, might I add. Um, <laughs> they'll drop, like, special armor and special uh, weapons that you can use. Like, um, for example, native sandals and the aboriginal loincloth of the eagle. I got these off of a bear, and uh, a fire wand, 
and a ceremonial cloak. I got these off of a crab. And I also got a ridiculous amount of healing items and mana items off of just stuff that has no business carrying any of these items. And usually the only way that happens in EverQuest is if uh, some higher level person gets the item and intentionally puts it on that animal somehow. But um, other than that, there's really not a whole lot of difference between the two. Although, something else I do have to mention is uh, the NPCs. And um, the difference with the NPCs is World of Warcraft. The NPCs basically just, uh, you right click on them and they regurgitate text at you. To, uh, almost to no end. And that kind of took me back because it becomes really impersonal if you basically have no attachment to these people at all other than that they're giving you experience and items. Because another way that you get weapons and armor and healing items is that they're rewards for doing these quests. And not only that, you get to choose which one you get. They'll give you like a cho three choices sometimes. Sometimes. Usually it's two, um, and in rare occasions it's just one. But you get to choose which stuff you have, and they always make sure that you can, that there's uh, an armor that goes for like four different classes, and then there's another piece of armor that goes to all the other classes. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of ridiculous, but the, the reason that it took me back, the NPCs in particular, is because EverQuest, you're a lot more interactive with the NPCs, especially if you're trying to do quests with them. Because when you're trying to do quests with them, you have to actually talk to them. Uh, granted, it usually just boils down to saying what, and then a key word that they just said to you. But still, it's a lot more interactive. <clears throat> There's a lot more reason to care about the interaction with the NPCs, other than just them eventually giving you stuff. And um, another thing is the vendors in this game. Uh, by this game, I mean World of Warcraft. Uh, how come you can't just sell certain amounts of one item? If you can do that, I'm sorry, but, but I couldn't find it. Because as far as I could tell, you, you either uh, sold all of the item that you had, or you sold none of the item that you had. Uh, like, let's say I had five healing potions that I didn't really need and I wanted to sell two of them. I couldn't do that. And again, that's just something that I'm used to from EverQuest, and it doesn't, it may not translate for everybody, but oh well. And um, other than that, a lot of stuff's identical, like combat for melee classes is identical, although there are a couple of differences. Um, because in World of Warcraft, health and endurance generate at a ridiculously fast pace. Even when you get to the higher levels, it's ridiculous just how fast you can get back health and you can get back endurance. You can't really get back man that fast, which I find kind of odd. Because it's kind of a consistency break with everything else, but... Oh well, what are you going to do? Like, uh... 